Life in the fast lane is literally not so fast. People think that when you're not working, when you're looking for a job, that you have all the time in the world to do things. It's not exactly true. You see, most of us have to use online technology, and if our online technology is not working correctly, if someone has interfered with our lawful rights to have telecommunications services in this world, if they violated FCC, if they've interfered with federal regulations on our opportunities in life, what happens to us? You see, when our technology no longer works, we have to really start to wonder, why am I not getting these career options? Why aren't people responding to my emails? Why aren't people really actually receiving my voice messages? And why on earth are they so unprofessional that they don't return a telephone call within 48 to 72 hours like most people do? You see, in life we are using technology that there's no way to track. There's no way to verify it's actually functioning because it's not a landline anymore. It's a cell tower. It's a pocket of minutes within a company. And it's also the reality that some people lie, steal, and cheat a man of their life. You see, when people find out private information, they start to think, why would I allow such a thing? Why should I not do something to prevent this person from going on in life? But the truth is, those people have lost their way with the Lord. They don't understand how illegal it is is not true. They simply feel they're above the law. And when they feel they're above the law, that's when mayhem ensues for other people. You see, the magic of the Lord is how he opens people up to love, honor, cherish, and show the spirit of others. The mayhem is when people decide they are the Lord of other people's lives, and they are going to steal, rob, and cheat a man out of what the Lord has planned for him. When men, when pastors, when women get involved in mobbing, they literally do this. They prevent a person from having privacy of their property. They watch someone do something, and they calculate what's going on, and then they try to take the things that person put together. Other people literally get into their envelopes, get into their pockets when they sleep, go into their homes, go into their rooms, and literally sneak about and lie, steal, and cheat people from their own identities, their own paperwork, their own everything. Now, underneath federal law, this is highly un illegal. Underneath international law, this makes us look like absolute morons and bastards of the world. But in truth, are we monsters in this world, or are we people who are men and women of peace? You see, men and women of peace don't get involved in other people's lives without being invited in. And when we get invited in, we have to be very cautious and careful about what we're going to do when we get invited in, how we're going to handle ourselves, what practically we're going to say to them, and how loving we're going to be with them. Because when we do this, it produces a result. It produces a loving, intimate relationship that might be taken a lot more seriously by one side than the other. And that's something one has to protect themselves from. Now, in life, we have moments of time to make all the difference in the world for people. We don't literally have to talk a long time. But in truth, when I talk about rights, what do you feel? Do you feel like I'm off my racker? Or do you start to get how valuable our technology tools are to the way that we build a business, a practice, a life worth living, a retirement worth having, and the social relationships that make or break our lives? You see, when we hang on to old relationships, the Lord does not honor us. When we move to new relationships that the Lord has brought into our lives, we are totally spiritually uplifted. The only question is who interferes with those lawful relationships. Now when I say lawful, I'm talking about the Lord's law, not human law. The Lord's law, that the Lord produces people, relationships, opportunities, time management, and every other little aspect of our lives, if we believe in a Heavenly Father or a Divine Mother. Now openly I can talk about this all day, but in truth, what I'm saying to you right now, people, is that you have to look at yourselves and decide what letter of the law do you follow. Do you follow one of love, honor, dignity, grace, and spiritual awakening and uplifting? Or do you follow one of ruining other people's lives because you think the game of it is just so fun? You see, in life there's always retaliation from the Lord. And you might be monkeying around now and getting away with it, but in a short period of time, in a few years' time maybe, you will get hit by an illness that you will never get out of. And that is the truth. The Lord does punish. He does have that lawful right. And he will harm those who lie, steal, and cheat men and women out of their rightful ownership of their property, their personhood, and their paperwork. Now, this has been Blake Henson of Blaze Communication with a little pastoral quip on love, liberty, and freedom of religion, perhaps. But openly, I'm saying, don't get involved in harming people's lives. Always be a light unto yourself, as well as a light, a way to light the way for other people's lights to shine. Thanks for listening.